is Anderson Pence Podcast, episode 269, for Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. This is Brian. Good luck with that. <laughs> this is Lisa. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Please don't. I have a great joke. Oh. It is so good. I just want to say, all you people who are sending him jokes, step up your this game. This one's great. You're going to love this one. This okay, you love promise? This yes. Why did the scuba diver fall backwards over the boat. Because that's how you're supposed to do it. Because if he fell forward, he'd still be in the boat. <laughs> you know, the funniest part is watching you crack yourself up. I know, up. that's great. It's a great joke. Thank you very much for giving me that joke, by the way. Say it again. Why did the scuba diver fall backwards over the boat? Over the boat? Yeah. Out of the boat? Out of the boat, yeah. Because if he fell in, he'd, if he fell forward, he'd still be in the... Never mind. <laughs> Anyway. And keep trying, people. Keep trying, because they're pretty interesting. So, we have some... Uh, it's been a while since we did a podcast. Uh, several pen shows in a row. Uh, but it was actually two. It just well, felt like it, several. <laughs> <laughs> we were home for all, several days. I don't know. 72 hours. Some new products to talk about. Oh, my God. I have to stuff. have one. Have to have new. to have to coming, have it. Coming soon. Oh uh, probably this month. That being May 2018. Freaking gorgeous. Now, we saw this in February. Shh. We're not supposed to tell. Maybe. Shh. Shh. Sailor, North American exclusive. Oh, my God. To die for. Following up on the Royal Tangerine, the 1911 Stormy Seas. Metallic freaking blue. Gorgeous. MFB? MFB. MFB. Yes. So, uh, basically, <laughs> it's the same color as the Pro Gear Slim in the metallic blue. Which I love. I um, have. I'm going to be buried yeah, with it. Yeah, a uh, uh, distinct, it's the metallic blue with a distinct uh, silver metallic sheen. It's so pretty. Uh, you have to have one. 1911 I'm large, sorry. 1911 standard, uh, rhodium trim. It's really pretty. Striking. It's pretty sexy. It's a pretty nice looking pen. It'd look great in your pocket. It would look great with in all your pocket. blue. Yes, but right here. Except for the pocket square. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, that is coming soon. I'm very excited about that. I want um, the very first one. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Whatever you're going to get, medium fine usually is what medium you get. Medium fine. Yeah. Yeah. I got a I got a broad. I think that's going to be with my name on it. Okay. So uh, nice looking pens. Uh, of course, the 14 karat, the 21 karat nib on the large, uh, all rhodium. So both sizes. Both sizes. All seven nib sizes in both sizes. So extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium broad, zoom, music. How do you do that? Like Kim always has to have the little bubble. When the noobs do their I've thing, maybe, you are that I've good. maybe said the uh, Sailor Nib lineup ten thousand times. Awesome! So. Now, absolutely gorgeous color. I'm super yep. stoked. It's good stuff. Yep. Uh, and staying with blue. Oh my God! This is adorable. Ah. You know, I wasn't sure that I was going to like the size when Scott Franklin showed this to us, but the Franklin Christoph 45 Anderson Pens Exclusive Blue. Check this baby out. It's like a it's like a marble blue. It's a nice it's marble. It's gorgeous. It's a little different material than what we used on the O2, the O3, the 19. Because they ran out of that. That material's gone. But this is this is I think this is a nicer this material. This is cool. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Nice little pocket size. It's got the threads at the end of the section. Um, it's got the steel. Yeah. Uh, nice. Number five size nib. <laughs> Don't drop Terrible. it. <laughs> um, yeah. Nice little size. You know, and a nice price too. It's not it's not terribly expensive. But here, hold that. Hold that. Hold that. See, that's not too small it, for it a man. It fits in my hand, yeah. 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 And I like that the threads, this is my favorite yes, part. Yes, way down. Way down at the end, so. So you don't get that little depression yeah. on your finger? No. They, they do such a great job at Franklin Christoph. Cartridge only, basically, you can fit the, fit the mini uh, 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 converter in there. The yeah. Mini. That doesn't work It's not great. Well. You could eyedropper it, too. So, oh, if right. you got to have I'm a large capacity, to. I'm not going to, but. I'm not a big um, eyedropper kind of girl. No, not either. I always have some pens, so I don't need that much. <laughs> you anyway. do have some pens. Um, but that's in um, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 1.1 nib options. 1.1? 1.1. Okay. Yep. Steel nibs. Yeah. So. No, nice, nice. Uh, the, the same quality you come to expect from Franklin Christoph in it's a great the... Pen. Gorgeous blue. Yeah, yeah. I think got, our, got our initials on it too, so that's cool. Well, that's cool. cool. Yep. They're always so good about that. What uh, else we got? Now we picked these up, up in, in Atlanta, and actually we had them on order, but now we, we have them. Uh, you they're, know, they're, they're really they're funky. Cute. They're cute. 
Um, I wasn't so. sold on some of the patterns at first, but the more we, we see them and, and handle them, some of them are really cool. The stiff, flexible notebooks. These are made in Italy. Bang. And they're kind of stiff and they're kind of flexible, like the name says. Basically, so if you've got it in your, in your backpack and, you know, it gets bent, it's not going to... Check these out. These are so cute. It's essentially pre-bent. 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 You know, you put it in your notebook and you what? bang you your know, notebook around. Oh, my God. It's like deja vu. Have we said that before? I don't know. Seriously, that's just so weird. Uh, but I mean, let's Look at that. That is so cute. How can you not fall in love yeah, with that? Yeah, those are cute. Yeah, so they're, they're lined pages. They're, they're fountain Funky. pen friendly. Um, what's cool is the back has perforated graph. It has some blank pages. Um, it's got a little pocket in the back. It comes with a... Uh, bookmark, you know, nice, nice Elastic size. Elastic yeah. closure. It's got a. Did you mention the pocket? Pocket. Yep. Yeah. Very I've got cool. so. I mean, they got basically the subway versions. I've got Madrid. Where you got their Berlin. I got Berlin. Um, they got ones with cool little cars on them. I like these gasoline ones. Those are cool. These are great. I. Yeah. There are, are uh, several little animals. They're just adorable. Who wouldn't want a journal in that? And how much that fun would that be That's to take cute. into like good. Good a good. business good. meeting <laughs> with your little bear? I, I don't know. So I think I might have to try. There it. are some pseudo, they're not a pseudo superhero kind of things. Yeah. There's like you know, it's not Spider-Man, it's not Captain America, it's but it's very, very superhero e. Inspired, Inspired by. by. There we go. There you go. So stiff flexibles, um, lots of lots of cover options. Uh, you know, decent decent little notebook. Yeah, yeah, it's you know they're they're good sizes too. And not not terribly expensive. No, no, I'm super excited. I may have to go shop. All Eric, right, what else Eric you got? and I have this thing about notebooks that we don't use. Yes, it's becoming a wall. <laughs> um. uh, Visconti pen cases, the silk. I love these. I have this one. The blue, blue I love twelve. It. The blue twelve. Well, I like the zipper. Insert zipper sound here. But I like how the top half flips down. So you don't have to try and dig in. You can just reach in and grab it. I really like those. It's got these dividers. You can kind of separate your pens in. Yes, and They're the dividers big. go all the way down. It's not just at the top. So even at the bottom, your pens are not clinking around not together. Into each other. Yeah, I'll take those no, back. I don't think so. Yeah, well, no, right. it's, that one's mine. Okay. So the 12. The six, the three, what do you have? Is that a two? This is a two, and there's also, I think there might be some ones. Basically, yes. the silk cases are going away. They've been They're, discontinued. They've been discontinued. And we um, um, I, I, pretty much... I bought everything that was left. Brian went a little crazy and said, hey, I'm, I'd like them all. So, so they come in blue. We have very, the blue is very limited. We have very few of those left. We've got the, uh, the, bronze, the gray and the bronze. The bronze and the stone. The gray, yeah. Gray, yeah. 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 But various various I like, options, not I like all the brown options and in all colors. So but they're cool. They're they're great. They're really nice and sturdy. Um, they're, they're they're firm, give me that. They're firm without being yep. super hard and too rigid. Yeah, especially at the bottom here where the Yeah, you know, I've got some cases that I wouldn't necessarily put some of my expensive or hard to find. I hate to say rare but some of my rare or one-of-a-kind mm. pens in. They're just a little too thin or flimsy. These... Yeah, they're nice. Visconti's always made nice, nice they cases. Have. So they these have. are these are just a little more colorful than your plain. Now, the leather cases, which they they they're, um, uh, they still have... Um, these are nice, Those though. are nice, but these are these have a little bit of color, a little bit of flavor to them. A little pop. A little pop, as it were. Um, but, now, yeah, they're, they're going away. We don't have all sizes and all colors. Um, blue is the most popular, but um, uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So grab them now. But anyway, uh, other news. I got my hair cut. <laughs> I know, and people out there who are listening or watching are going to be like, "Who cares?" It's kind of a new look, kind of a new feel. Spring. Uh, Everything's new this year. Spring. You know, we we went on our diet, so we've made some lifestyle changes, some wardrobe changes, I cut my hair, um, which leads into other new changes. That was pretty good, right? Actually, that, was, that was pretty slick. I yes. surprised Brian the other day. I went to get a trim and um, uh, came back and had whacked off about six inches 
um, surprise. Yes. Nice. So, um, but speaking of big new changes in looks, we new website have a new um, website. So it's we've, we've had the old website for uh, what about four years? Yeah. And uh, and it served us well, but. Um, we, we decided to move on, and we have a new platform. We've kind of outgrown some of the things yeah, that... Yeah, we, we outgrew grew some of those features. Um, so you have to bear with us if, you know, pretty much it went very, it went as smooth as could be expected. Um, real minimal issues. Yeah, um, which was nice, really, really nice. You know, there's, there's, always a, there's always a DNS propagation issue when you, when you change hosts, so that usually takes 72 hours. Um, so some people are seeing some weird, weird things going on. Uh, the one thing I will say is if you had an account with the old website, um, for security reasons, we can't port over the password. So your information is probably still there, but you just have to create a new password. Um, but it's very mobile friendly. Um, you know, test on iPhone, iPad, you know, all your mobile devices. It's it's really a good, good looking site. You'll also find a number of new um, pictures. We were still putting Thousands. up new product on the old site and on the new site. So poor Kim and Brian were really doing double work for quite a while. No. Um, but we were also putting up all new images or many, 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 many new images on yep. the new site only so that it would be a yep. bigger change. Yeah, probably, um, probably bigger oh, change. several thousand images uh, have changed. So um, that's, that's nice. Um, and we're not done with adding we're not, stuff. We're not done adding stuff. So there's a lot of features. Uh, you know, as they say, you can, you, you can try to get it perfect or you can launch it. And then, you know, can, if you wait till it's perfect, you'll it never was, do it. So it was time. It was time. Um, so anyway, that's exciting. Uh, that also means new point of sale for, for the Appleton folks, um, which is fantastic. Uh, Same as what we're using in Chicago. So which is in, fast, fast, modern, sleek, sexy. Apple the, Pay. Yeah, our first customer used Apple Watch. I know. So, I saw yeah. that. How? I mean, but seriously, how cool is that, that you can just pay with your watch? Yeah, yeah. Can I have an Apple Watch just so I can pay? You can have an Apple Watch. You get a watch, I get a watch. That's how it works. No, you are... Oh, crap. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we have one, that on tape. No, Please tell me that's no, on tape. We have anyway. one more slot left in your watch box, and when that's filled, if you buy another, another one, <laughs> if we works. buy another one, you have to take one out and sell it, not just take one out. Anyway, um, so anyway, new website. Um, We're super excited about it. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's cool. We did it on Saturday afternoon. We Brian and I worked the store ran to the restore and got a table and then came back and um, I was really relieved that it, it went as smoothly as it did, although that evening I kept hearing a lot of you noise a, you, from you, your you office. A, you got an expert on the job here. So I know, I it's know. It's not my first party. Um, but <laughs> it, it's really nice to have it done and switched over and uh, moving on to the next next level. So. Speaking of moving on, this week, Chicago Pen Show. How's that moving on? What is? I'm moving on. Okay. I'm moving on. Uh, Chicago Pen Show, which also means what? On Monday, following the Chicago Pen Show. Well, I was going to be before then. Before then? What happens tomorrow? Tomorrow? Mm-hmm. It's not today. <laughs> Our anniversary is this week. <laughs> this week. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, well, we, we got married at the show. We did. That so. was the whole point. So yes. we got married at the Chicago show. Um, it's the closest one to us, which makes me super happy uh, because we leave that morning. Well, actually, we go down tomorrow. We, tomorrow. Crap. We I go tomorrow. Our anniversary was yesterday. Anyway, I didn't we go down. Card. We go I'm down sorry. tomorrow. <laughs> um, and uh, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see you this weekend. And Monday, following the show, Visconti event at the Chicago store. This so is going to be fun. It's going to be fun, yeah. So Michael Hujara from, uh, is vice president of Coles of London, who's a U.S. distributor, uh, is coming down. He's going to have many of the new 2018 uh, product, uh, prototypes, uh, stuff that's coming out this year. Uh, he's also bringing in a dozen or so watches um, and, and some limited editions, all sorts of stuff. So if you're in the area... Uh, just to, if you can't make it to the show, uh, which is out um, in Hoffman Estates, in Hoffman Estates, 
um, come down to the, the, the store and we'll have a lot of a lot of the stuff there. In fact, he's shipping some stuff there this week, so to the store. He's bringing watches. He's bringing watches. So should I worry? Nope. Um, anyway, so well, that's going on. We haven't exchanged gifts. We always save that for the show, which is why I'm confused. And so sometimes we shop at the show. Are you shopping on Monday? You know, I'm. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, so Visconti event is going to be on uh, Monday, probably around starting around noon. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, feel free to come in. With stores open 10 to 6. Um, also, speaking of Chicago, we have a new employee, a new team member, staff member. We, we do. Um, kind of bittersweet. Uh, we want to uh, give a shout out to Ed Hamilton of Century Pens. He was... Um, a fixture in Chicago for years and years. Um, had started several different companies, worked in several different pen stores, started a few. Uh, Century Pens was only a few blocks from us. Yep. And um, we'd gone down several times and, and met Ed and his assistant, Charles. And uh, Ed's building was undergoing some demolition. It's not even renovation. It's yep. just demolishing the whole first floor. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Including his space. Yeah, his store so, was going to be completely demolished. Yeah, his, it was a, like a big fishbowl in the middle of this gorgeous bank building. And they were going to move him and then just gut the first floor. And um, instead of being the only tenant left and dealing with months and months of chaos and uh, construction, Ed decided to retire. Um, and so he, I believe he's already moved. Um, but his assistant, Charles, is now with us yep. at uh, Anderson Penn Chicago, and we are super stoked to have yep. him. Super friendly, um, really, really knowledgeable. He's just a, such a happy yep. guy. Charles has been a, a, been a, a fixture uh, on the Penn scene in Chicago for decades. a couple decades. So yeah. um, real pleased to get that wealth of knowledge uh, in the store. And he's just, he, was, he was in there right away, first day, man. He, yep. just, he just moved in, and that was it. So... Um, if you if you've been a customer of Charles before, stop in and, s and say hi um, at the at the store at the Palmer House. So. Yeah, but uh, he's he's really fitting in well. He brings knowledge that some of our staff doesn't have, and we have products he's never seen before. So it's, it's still mix. a, a learning mix. experience for him. Um, and uh, I think everybody's um, they're they're still playing with the schedule and uh, um, just trying to find a. Um, just it, it's a good mix. Yeah. I'm, I'm super excited. So, two pen shows in the last three weeks: Atlanta and Long Island. To make a quick mention of those. Um, you know, got, I, I used to love to travel, and <laughs> <laughs> now it's just like, oh my god, I don't even. We just plug it into the GPS and go wherever. You it know, says. We, we were very blessed. Good weather for both shows. Uh, usually, it rains on the way to uh, Long Island or while we're setting up. Um, Atlanta was a great show. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but, um, you know, cookout. Phenomenal cookout. Cookout like, was great. God, great they serve a ton of food. The only problem was while we were in Atlanta enjoying gorgeous 70-degree weather, Appleton got, what was it, like? Five inches of snow. Great, like two feet. Seriously, Seriously not, feet, not exaggerating, yeah. of snow. And we weren't sure we were actually going to be able to make it home. Yep. And we only had 72 hours between the time we were going to get home and when we were going to leave for Long Island. So it was a little crazy. Um, usually Atlanta symbol signals spring, spring yep. and you break out the sandals. And no, it was snow boots and uh, yep. hats. Yep. And the snowblower doesn't work. So there's that. So um, we left the gang at home everybody had to shovel. having to shovel. So, no, they did a good job. Um, <laughs> Atlanta was a great show. Um, some of the usual suspects there, but uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, it was a good show. It was a good show. Uh, we, had, we had a good time with uh, John and Carol from, from Luxury Brands. And um, big thanks to Jimmy Dolev, his yep. daughter Suzanne, his wife Janice, and Sherry Potter, mm -hmm. um, their, their longtime assistant, and her daughter Brittany, who yep. we, we love yep. All of them. Um, they did a fantastic job, as always. Best, best Atlanta show ever for us. Yep. Uh, Long Island, uh, which was last weekend, weekend before, two weekends ago. Um, you know, that, that was a good trip. Yeah. 
Uh, it didn't rain like it usually does. Now, we, we weren't able to get into, normally we can get into the, the, the room Friday night. We can drop our stuff off. That didn't happen. No, but instead, you went to a Yankees game, and I had sushi delivered, so it wasn't so, so bad. Yeah, so um, <laughs> we, we were very fortunate. Um, the uh, general manager, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mori and Mr. Hisa of uh, Sailor Japan were actually in Long Island, and um, we all went to the... Um, the New York Yankees game. Uh, sadly, they lost, <laughs> but uh, I never been to Yankee Stadium, so that was cool. And you came back with a hat yeah, and a yeah. hoodie. It was cold. It was like <laughs> 35 degrees, so I had I was forced to go buy uh, something to, to warm up with. But mm -hmm. uh, anyway, we had the game. Then the next day, we had uh, this the show, and um, then we did dinner. We had dinner with with um, with the Japanese and uh, Atoya and our rep Scott. Um, and, uh, and it was a good time. Um, there were some pens, actually, at the Long Island Pen Show. I actually, I don't think I got any pens in Atlanta. I did get one pen in Atlanta. What did you I think get? About it. Atlanta, I got a 1911 large sailor in yellow, which you did? they don't make. Did I know about anymore. this? Yes, you did. Joel basically gave it to me. Oh, that one, yeah. That one. Okay. Um, but this that was, was it. Atla um, Long Island was cool. You received yeah. a gift. Yes, yes. So um, Actually, got you got two gifts. I got two gifts? You did? Yeah. Well, anyway, the first, I had someone walk up to the table. Thank you very much, by the way. And says, I hear you like big nibs. And he hands me this guy, an H.M. Smith in company, New York, number 10 so, size dip pen. Nib. Here's my finger. It's about what? Your knuckle up? Two digits? Bigger than that. Yeah. Two digits. This thing's huge. It's a very large, it's the largest, probably the largest size H.M. Smith ever made. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, flexible, um, cool, very cool nib. Okay. Um, and then I, I was perusing some of the junk boxes. You were? And three for 50. Now, okay, I'm just going to get this right out there. This pen does not have a nib. Oh, my God. Here we go again. You were doing so well doing for so, so well. long. I have the nib for this. It's a Sager. You say that every time, but you but, never put them together. <clears throat> well, I have to find the nib. I know I have one somewhere. Oh but my this God. is the uh, Sager Barrel of Ink. Um, Scarce pen, really okay. scarce pen. Okay. Um, I don't have a Sager, now I do. Uh, and a couple of very interesting Japanese pens. I have one in aluminum, lever filler, and then this really interesting hard rubber. Um, this is basically parts, but it's very interesting. An ebonite eyedropper, but what makes this pen cool is it has a little chop on the back end. It is cool. Which actually comes off. Oh. You, can, you can take the chop so I wonder off. If that, well, that was so you could exchange, that you could swap them. Yeah, and then you can put oh, the blind cap that. on. And Perfect. it's got ink shut off, so you can pull this out. How so. many little things come off there? There's a lot. It's really an interesting <laughs> pen. Now, it's, it, like I say, it's parts. There's no way it's ever going to work. It's got some cracks and issues, but uh, I've never seen one like it. It's just really, it's really a neat, neat pen, and the price was right, as they say. So you so. bought a pen that will never, ever work? Well, I can use the chop. Oh. I don't know what the chop says, but I can use it. All that, right. So. Um, you received some Palomino pencils. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. And I have them on my desk. I, I don't know which one. To, they're like a lot of the limiteds. Yeah. So um, um, our good friends Jenny and Bill came to see us, mm -hmm. and Brian got a bunch of Palominos. And uh, I, I got them. I actually own one. They're all like yours downstairs. So now I, I have my own Palomino. Um, and uh, I got a beautiful scarf. And we do have a couple shout outs we need to um, from both Atlanta and from uh, Long Island. So we have Mark and Katie, big hugs. And um, our friend Dan, who uh, comes to Long Island, Love always Dan. brings us coffee Thank and you. brings cookies and croissants and yummy stuff. Um, His black and whites are awesome. <laughs> you know, he really keeps parenting real. I love talking to Dan about kids. Um, and uh, Bill and Jenny and um, Ray and Mariana, it was really good to spend some time with you guys, yep. and yep. happy, happy anniversary. A um, bunch of other people, um, always good to see uh, Mike and Linda Kennedy. Yep. And um, Yeah, we ran it. was it Atlanta? We were on the highway, and it turns out they were within like five miles of us, and so we coordinated, and we stopped up, and had lunch. Which was fun, which was because... Fun, yeah. You know, usually we just drive and drive, yes. and then we get there. A hundred shows, we've never run into somebody on the on the road, so. Well, I think it was when we posted that we were stopping at Dinosaur World. And they were like, oh, my God, we're 40 miles ahead of you or something. And um, 
we must have, they you, must have you stopped. You slowed down, I think. Well, and... after we passed them, I slowed down, and then we're like, we should just have lunch. Yeah. And uh, it was good. It was nice to, to be able to get out and stretch, and we weren't um, constrained by, you know, other people or, or, you know, sometimes if the show is at a hotel, other people will stop by the table to say hi or, or join the conversation. And so it was nice to just kind of have a, a double date lunch. And then, uh, but we didn't linger too long because we both wanted to get there. And uh, yeah, but that was fun. Mm -hmm. yep. That was a lot of fun. So anyway, I think that's set it for this week. We're going to get get ready We're to gonna go We're going to finish packing, um, go to Chicago. Uh, we leave tomorrow. Yep. Is it tomorrow that there's, they have the pizza for the setup? I think there's pizza, yep, yep. I can't eat it. So, well. You can eat mine. Well, I can't eat it either, but oh, anyway. Um, so, yeah, so Chicago Pen Show this week, definitely stop by. Uh, and, uh, of course, the, Visco uh, the Visconti event at the store. We're super excited about that. That's going to be fun. I'm excited to see what else Michael's going to bring. Yep, yep. So new, some really great stuff coming this year, and there's a new... There's a new uh, pen coming out, completely new pen in kind of a lower price point. That's I think is going to be real, real good. So, um, anyway, uh, come see us at the Chicago Pen Show this week. Uh, basically, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday Sunday, Sunday. Um, and the event at the store on Monday. So, in the Palmer House Hilton. So, I think that's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you at the show and tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for ink reviews, news, and all sorts of other cool stuff. And sign up for the mailing list for Chicago if you are in Chicago or the surrounding area. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.